good to see all of you here. Um, I think that in the past elections, the media has never really seen me talk uh, in this way. Um, there is a reason why, after all the debates that have gone on uh, amongst friends, online, uh, and with different people from different walks of life, that um, my choice would be Mar and Lenny. It wasn't just through the debates, but for me, kasi, when it comes to planning for a country that has undergone so much turmoil in so many years, sometimes it takes one, two, three, four, maybe five administrations before an entire nation can feel a complete change. This, I believe, if Mara wins, will be one of the administrations that will continue that change for the better. I've always believed, I've always believed that before you move ahead and go to square one, you have to start with the drawing board. You plan a plan of And when that's done, then you say, okay, let's go, square one. Folks, this is where we are today, in square one. I have been in the industry for 32 years. I was telling some media friends at the back, Kanina, I've been in the industry for 32 years. It is only in the past five, six, seven years that I've heard the best that I could ever hear about the Filipino and its islands. Dati kasi puro islands lang ang pinag-uusapan eh. Ngayon, it's the people as well. I found out also that there are millions of Filipinos who are no longer in poverty. Has this been bragged about? No, because if the administration did that, parang ang labas eh, parang ang yabang nila. Na ang, ang, ang dami nilang ipinagmamalaki na ito yung ginawa nila. Now, ang getting comments na, eh ba't hindi nila sinabi yun doon para maranasan din, ma-feel din ng tao? So it's almost damned if you do, damned if you don't. Today, I also found out that with regard to the economy, we are one of the fastest rising, not only in Asia, but in the entire world. We are in a situation where the entire world that used to laugh at us is now scratching their heads wondering, how could we have done this? It's about the people and the leadership. Now, note that I said people first, because we are Filipinos. We survive in any place, in any nation. We learn their language. We can easily adapt. We are in square one. And if we don't continue this, we go back to the drawing board again. Which means, for our children and for our children's children, it may not be much of a change from now until they are allowed to vote themselves. I'm not speaking with any... As I, as I stand here, I, am res I will forever respect the decisions of others I may be bashed, I'm ready for it, but regardless of what is said, I am also a Filipino, and I was not born and raised to bash others. Whoever, hold on, my encouragement to all of you, we don't know what's going to happen on May 9th, but whoever gets it as Filipinos, we continue to support. But my heart, not just my mind, but my heart is for Mark. My son, Tylo, is going to be a father in November. I'm thinking of that child. And I want that child to at least experience the changes that we've often been seeking and we've been longing for. Regardless of what people may say, oh, but this administration is like this and all, let's go down the line. Let's go back in time. And let's see which administration did not suffer the Ito nito sila, ito yung ginawa nila. And, oh, but this is the one where we can say, yes, but we move forward. Hindi naranasan ng iba. Not yet, but it's getting there. I know this because I also have a heart, especially for the OFWs, dahil ilan sa mga kanta ko, kaya nang babalik ka rin, ng uh, galing ng Pilipino, ng lipat ng pangarap, ng uh, uh, Kapit Pinoy, all of this are geared toward the Filipinos who are separated from their families from all over the world. I'm sorry if I'm speaking with a lot of emotions, but I've had first-hand encounters with these people who come up to me and who are smiling, very big picture and all, and I do that, and the next minute, 
they're in, sitting down talking to their children back home, saying that they cannot come home because they, they have to stay. Whether it's Milan, Singapore, Australia, in Canada, Hong Kong, and these are the people that I have in mind. So, in a nutshell, this is why I would encourage people that before they even wake up, when they wake up on May 9, they start with a prayer. Because your mind may say something, but God resides in the heart. And if He speaks in your heart and says that this is the person I want you to vote for, then heed that call and follow that lead. Because if we do make a change, do know that when you make that change, you're all part of it. It's not just the leadership of Mark. It's because all of you helped push that change for the better forward. So, I don't know, I think I've said enough. I don't know if I'm ever going to speak like this again. But uh, God bless the Philippines. Love you all.